The Democrats are leaning into the how do you do fellow kids strategy. And this is how they're reaching out to young voters. Take a look. So tell me about Joe and your relationship with Joe and what do I need to know? Like, what's the thing about the ice cream? He loves ice cream. You know, <laughs> tell me about well, that. Well, listen, <laughs> ice cream is big. Uh, pasta with red sauce. He, he can he, he can go deep on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, he really does like those aviator glasses. He knows he looks good in them. We're in a new depression. The real unemployment rate is 20%. 46% of Americans are having, quote, serious financial troubles. Serious financial troubles. That's nearly half the country. This is what they're doing. Why are they acting like this is a normal year and a normal election? Why are you doing that? You think you could just, like, cutesy your way into the White House in the middle of a pandemic and a depression? And a continuation of endless wars? I got more for you. The Hill says, New. Billie Eilish, DJ Khaled, and other celebrities offer exclusive experiences in campaign to mobilize young voters. You know, if you read the story, they also say Usher is involved. See, the Democrats would literally rather force Usher to vote for you than give you health care. Did I say Usher to vote for you? I meant to say dance for you. They'd rather force Usher to dance for you than give you health care. I'm still not done. Huffington Post said the following. By the way, Washington Post had a similar article as well. Like a boss, Twitter users are raving about Kamala Harris's campaign trail shoes. <laughs> yes, Chuck Taylors were trending for hours after the vice presidential candidate sported the look in Milwaukee. I seriously don't get what would it take for everybody to be serious about this moment. I mean, we have tens of millions of people without health care during a pandemic. Millions just lost their health care because they lost their job. We're turning into a failed state. Have you seen what's been going on with the climate recently? California's on fire. Scenes from there look like it's out of Mars. Oregon, same thing. Saw a video from Oregon the other day. Just totally red sky. You know, they're giving the advice now in L.A. to like, hey... Please don't use any appliances after 3 p.m. and also turn your thermostats like 78 degrees because we can't even afford, we can't keep the lights on because of the wildfires. There was a thing that came out the other day. It was like fire on this side, fire on this side. I think this was in Colorado and snow in the middle. It went from like 93 degrees to 37 in a day. That's some apocalyptic shit I've ever seen to myself. Like, what is going on? What is happening? And this is what, and instead of talking about climate change, instead of talking about the Green New Deal, instead of talking about Medicare for all, instead of talking about universal basic income, which we need right now, here's Billy Relish. <laughs> here's DJ Khaled and Usher. <laughs> Joe likes his aviator glasses. Yes, he does. And pasta with red sauce. Ice cream. <laughs> Are those Chuck Taylors? Are those Chuck Taylors? I love Chuck Taylors. Kamala's like me. She wears shoes. I wear shoes. We both wear sneakers. <laughs> I like sneakers and so does she. So relatable. So relatable. Oh, somebody's at the door. I'm being foreclosed on. I don't know why more people aren't flipping out and why people aren't taking this moment seriously. This is as bad as it's ever been in my lifetime, for sure. This is as bad as it's been since the Great Depression. And this is what we're getting from the Democrats.